1995, Englishman David Wimberly decided to move to Phoenix and open an English pub. I had a pub in London for three years, so initially it came to America to open up an English pub. That was my dream. And my ex-wife and my daughter moved to Phoenix, and my mother, my brother, and myself moved to Phoenix to open up the Jaws and Dragon. For us to open this together was like a dream for my mum, because she got to see us every day. For additional help, David brought his brother Tony on board to manage the bar. I've been working for my brother for 30 plus years. It's a family business. As the first English pub in Arizona, the Georgian Dragon was an immediate success. Cheers. To the pub! Oh! Wankers. <laughs> for the first eight years, this was by far the most happening place in Central Phoenix. When we opened this pub, it was four deep at the bar every night from five till seven. Our best year, I think we did $1.9 million. But it hasn't been fun in the last five, six years, though. My mum passed a few years ago, when that really hurt, really did a number on me. Since the death of my mother, David lost his passion. He lost the push. <sighs> Everything about this building is the same as it was 20 years ago. David won't change or adapt. And if you don't adapt, you die. The kitchen is disgusting. Stools are falling apart. It's embarrassing. It's a health hazard. As the bar fell further into disrepair, David's focus turned to socializing rather than improving the business. Hey, right, guys, before you come in, have a shot of me. Take a seat wherever the f you want. David's been more focused on David than the, than the pub. We're getting up. I need more shots. David is here playing poker four out of the seven nights. When David's at the table, he's usually drinking. And you better be checking on him on a normal basis, because if he has to get up from his table, he's not going to be happy. Where's the bartender? When they're playing poker, people don't drink. And the money that's being spent on the staff that are here is putting us in the red. We're going to win a chicken dinner. Now, losing $5,000 a month, the 21-year-old bar is months from closing its doors for good. It's not good when you do payroll and you're $4,700 in the hole. We're about $700,000 in debt, and going the way we are now, there's no way we're going to make it through the summer. When I put the 1200 in, when I put this one in, it's going to be 4 k under. Over? Under. My mum is in this building. If this place were to close, David? He would go down with it. It would kill him, I think. Does it look like I've got to go to the bank on Monday or what? There's no way I can sell this place because this is my mother. And it, it's it, when I walk in here, it reminds me of my mum and reminds me of my brother. Yeah, I gotta get make this work again. Before the George and Dragon takes its last breath, David has agreed to pull back the doors, bust open the books, and make a call for help to Bar Rescue.